Hey, what's up? It's Ryan again. I wanted to do another video. My first video was uh, a bit long and a bit of a test video. I'm not sure how useful uh, seeing buses getting set up was, but uh, this one's going to do the same thing except for the purpose of this one is to just simply show you an easy way to add an effects or apply uh, some sort of uh, well, anything, any, any plugin to a track on the fly. And this is going to be useful for, uh, I think, mostly for people that are recording their voice. So if you're a voiceover artist or if you just simply need to lay down voice tracks uh, and also for people that hate the fact that you have to bounce down in Pro Tools, that gets uh, that's the biggest complaint I get, at least uh, from my podcast, uh, from the voiceover types, why they hate Pro Tools is because they don't want to have to bounce down. Sorry, my mic setup in the studio is ridiculous. I can't see my screen with the mic. Okay. Uh, anyway, what you're going to do here is you're, pretend this track doesn't even exist. We're just starting with a blank session. This one's just so I can monitor the, the VO here. Uh, you are going to add two tracks. You can obviously uh, do this into sessions that are already filled up with other tracks, or you can just create yourself a little, uh, you know, call it your voiceover session, and all it needs to have is a mono aux input and a mono audio track. That's it. What we're going to do is we're going to bust this aux track into this audio track. Uh, so first, let's set up the input. That'll be your one or uh, whatever your mic is coming in through. If you're using a Pro Tools machine uh, with your outboard device, you know, like a, a, a Digio 3 rack or something, and you have a lot of inputs, then select the correct one. If you're using an M box or something, you're probably using input one. Anyway, you're going to output this through a bus, and we'll just use bus number four and you're going to input into this audio track. So basically you're going to be recording whatever is coming in to this aux. So we'll input this using bus number four. Uh, you can leave the out as one too, obviously. Um, and now the point is uh, you don't need to either use an audio suite plugin to apply an EQ or whatever uh, after you record. You can now apply whatever the effects is on the fly. It's especially good because um, if you need to gate your VO. Um, personally, I think gating a VO works better on the input than it does applying the plugin later. I might be incorrect on that, but that's just personally what I've found. So I just like to use, you can use anything you want, obviously. Um, well, any mono, because uh, we're doing mono voice recording. I like to use this one by Waves called Audio Track. It has everything built in. Um, you can set it up however you want. Again, I'm not going to go into settings today. I just have this simple comp gate set up where I'm I'm boosting the EQ up here in the high end. It just gives uh, the voice just a tiny bit more sizzle. Try not to compress too much, though. Looks like I got a 4 to 1 here. I probably should actually reduce that quite a bit. Um, anyway, we won't. I'm not going to screw around with settings right now. So anyway, we're applying this effect to anything we record in on this voice track. So we'll set that up to record. Uh, we'll roll in some voice here. Check 1, 2, voicing, best voice over ever. All right, there's the voiceover. Let's undo that. Okay, so you've applied this track on the fly. So now you don't need to apply anything else if you don't want to. If you're just doing some dry VO, then there you go. But now you don't want to sit here and wait for it to bounce down. You want to instantly save this uh, as a file like other DAWs will allow you to do, i.e. Um, audition. Well, you can do that. E either if you don't need to do any editing, then just simply name it right here what you want to name it. I'll name it file. And then, uh, oh, I forgot I was doing one already before I was doing a test. So we'll name this one file two. Uh, and now you're just going to save it. And the way you do that, right click, right click, if you left click, it does nothing. Right click, you're going to export the region as a file. Basically, it's Pro Tools or Digi's really long way to say save it as a file. Um, we're going to do an MP3. You have your selections here, though. And you can even do uh, movies in Pro Tools if you're working with video. But... For now, we're doing a mono, not stereo, but mono MP3. Uh, anyone who's recording their VO in stereo should probably stop doing that because that's the uh, the quickest way to ask for trouble down the road. You don't need, I mean, a voice is a mono source, so you don't need to record in stereo. And you'll ultimately get stung by phasing issues or something crazy later on. All right, you choose where you want to save it. Um, obviously, anywhere on your computer. I'm just saving it to the desktop. Use the current folder. That's the desktop. Uh, you can tell it what kind of quality mp3 you want if you just need like a crappy thing for your phone machine You may as well just save it as and this will make it a tiny file You can also save it all the way up to a 320 bit mp3 mono file. I don't see the purpose I think 128 is about as good as you need 
Um, some people, of course, don't even like MP3s, so you know, whatever. Uh, but all the voice work I do for clients, I I always uh, uh, encode it or send it as a 128-bit mono MP3 file. Now, when I hit this OK, there it's instant. It just saved that as a file. So now we have, I think I can do this, yeah, right there on the desktop. There's our little MP3. You see, it's five seconds long, and there you go. Uh, I think. For people that are recording voiceover, that should be a pretty helpful little um, shortcut for you. And now you don't have to bounce down. You can just simply record via the bus, apply the effect on the fly, have your little file, and instantly save it with this export regions as files. And there you have it. All right.